You know, I think last week the team learned a lot from that last round being canceled. It learned the lesson of every shot counts, no matter if it's the first round, second round, or third round. You never know when the tournament could end because of weather. It's just stuff out of your control. So those first couple rounds, even if you're playing bad, you really got to stay in there and fight to the end. You just, you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, that, fir that first round just kind of struggled out there, did not make any putts, just never really got anything going, but held in, hung in there, and that last hole got a nice birdie, get a little momentum to the second round, and the second round really played a lot better, saved a lot of shots around the green, that always helps, and then just everything was clicking, just that last day was really looking forward to playing it, hitting everything well, and I just knew the whole team, and including myself, was just going to play well that last day, but it happens sometimes, and you just got to move on past it. Underclassmen have been a big part to our lineup this year, especially those four or five spots. They're pushing each other every week. There's three or four of them that could get in there, and it just helps a lot. They're, they're all playing well to compete with each other every week and push to get better. Yeah, uh, definitely. We've played a lot, or we've played a lot in the past. I think back in 08 through 11, we uh, won it three years in a row, so we've had some good history there, but obviously none of us have played it, though, been on that team. But, I mean, we've heard a lot about the course being really good and everybody's liked it a lot. So we're pretty confident going into it. I mean, we're looking for a good win here. That would uh, lead a lot to the rest of the season.